Hello once again, Monster Hobbies Model Car Garage Builders, as well as everybody in the Papa Dan and Colonel Reb deformed cartoon group build for 2022. I hope your projects are going well. Mine got a little bit delayed because I was making videos for our Monster Hobbies Build a Monster contest, and I just got behind doing all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to carry on, and today I'm going to be showing you my cartoon Go Mad Nomad. I've painted the body and I want to put a second uh, color in there for two-tone. So without further ado, let's go down to the bench and see how that all goes. And here we have the body of the Go Mad Nomad, which I painted with this trim clad key lime paint. As you can see, it is quite a nice bright color. But what I want to do is I want to paint the roof a darker color. And I have this trim clad John Deere green, and I do believe that would actually be a nice kind of contrast here. Let's see if I can get into a wheel well. So that's sort of what it would look like. So what I need to do here is mask off the lower part of the body, and uh, I want to leave a piece of tape along here and just have that whole roof exposed. And one of the other things I can do is Tape, uh, put some tape along the edges here where I don't want it and then use plastic bags like sandwich bags and uh, try to get the body inside the plastic sandwich bag and then that way I'm not getting paint up on here where I don't want it but just on that top roof and you know down this pillar here probably will be painting these pillars and the front windshield as well with the John Deere green but overall this is how it would look now here's the engine from last week just for a little fun, I can just sort of set it into the hole on the hood, maybe. <laughs> well, I can do that, but I can't tip the model over. But uh, that's what it would look like with the little blower in there. And I noticed that they don't give you the little uh, arrow heads or whatever they were. They go in these holes here, like they should. So these would just be painted chrome, and maybe what I'll do is paint a like a circle in flat black in there in the centers just sort of to make it look I don't know like wind would be going through there or something I also have to paint the front grille here and then apply bare metal foil so currently there's like a few days left till the end of the month and I know this is gonna take about another week to uh, to dry this paint so I'll do my best that I can Actually, this has been sitting there for about three or four days, hardening up, so it's Wednesday today. Maybe I might have a chance before Friday or Saturday hits. Anyway, let's see what we can do. Now, the masking tape I'm going to be using is called Frog Tape. I find this works really well. As you can see with, like, regular masking tape, you do get some bleed under if you're not careful. But with the Frog Tape, it has a special paint block in here so you get a nice clean crisp line. So we're gonna put it to the test on the roof of that Go Mad Nomad. So here's what my Go Mad Nomad looks like with the frog tape all around it and in the plastic sandwich bags just to protect the front, back and sides. Now I'm not too sure how this is gonna go up in the birdhouse here. As you can see the plastic just sort of wants to sit there kind of oddly. My dad made this burnishing tool for me years ago Actually, it was for himself, but what you do is you just take this and rub down the tape onto there just to get a nice seal onto that, to the body, uh, you know, where you're masking off. This is just a, um, basically a metal rod that he pounded down and then polished with the uh, drill pet press and the polishing discs and whatnot. And yeah, you just rub it all over on there. So we got the top all ready to go. I will get that trim clad green and paint that with a John Deere color and hopefully I can get it back on this little display or sorry mounting stand without too much hassle that <laughs> plastic bag is really springy in there I don't know I might have some issues but I don't really have to go and flip the model upside down on this one I can just spray it from like the the top down and then the sides and then I can bring this back in here and peel the tape off and just show you how it all turned out. Wish me luck. I hope this doesn't mess up. So here it is with that John Deere green. And actually, it came out really smooth. There's only one little bit of dust back in here somewhere. But overall, pretty nice. 
Now I've just painted this, so <laughs> I want to rip off the masking tape right away. I don't know if I should. I'm going to get painty hands. Okay. Well. Hmm. Maybe I should let this dry for about 10 or 20 minutes. <laughs> I don't know though. Okay, so when you peel masking tape off, you want to roll it out like this. And that helps to get it away from the, uh, the actual, you know, so it doesn't pull up a hard edge. If you go straight up, you can actually tear a bit of the paint off. All right. Okay, so far so good. Okay, there's the front free. So now you can see how that looks. So I think what I'll do is <laughs> I will continue to unmask this off camera just so I get two hands on it and I don't get paint unnecessarily on the model of the wrong color. So wish me luck. And there we go. So you can see just how neatly this masking tape actually did this. Nice and clean up around the edges there. Now I will have to add in some bare metal foil or maybe even some of that chrome paint along the edge of the bottom of the window and up. Hmm, interesting. No, that is painted there. So I think the chrome goes there and then down and then along the bottom. Definitely around the front of the windshield here. But, uh, and then up these posts in the back. But you know, overall this ended up looking quite nice. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. Now I'm going to have to let this dry, of course. Oh, and then if I turn this over, you can see a, a couple of spots where the overspray came in on the doors. But I think what I'll do is, hmm, maybe I'll paint that flat black inside there. I also got a fingerprint in here. I think I could uh, get rid of that, though, with a little Q-tip and some paint thinner. Could do that on the sides as well. But overall, I mean, this looks pretty good, doesn't it? So here's what the car looks like with Ron the Californian Surfer in it. Again, you can see it's turning out pretty nicely. The roof is still wet. I'm actually running a risk doing this. But I uh, just wanted to show you what it looked like, sort of like a prequel. I think the white goes good with all the different greens on there. And of course, Ron has got those green glasses. So again, this should look really cool once we get that bare metal foil on there. Here's the next part of the Go Mad Nomad Surf Wagon. And what we've got is our little boogie board. So I painted this with orange. This again is a trim clad spray paint color. And I had it taped there. So this little white area is potentially where it's going to glue into the back of Ron's, uh, what do you call that? Little pickup bed here. So this would be something like this back here somewhere, hanging out the back of the Nomad, just like that. Now the orange is in quite a bit of contrast to the other colors going on with this car, but that should make it stand out and look like the uh, boogie board is something that Ron would have bought instead of like, you know, part of the car. <laughs> so anyway, there it is. Now what I'm thinking is maybe I'll paint a, some kind of pinstripe tiki motif on here or something. I'll have to figure that one out a little later. Again, now most of this will be hanging out the back upside down, so I don't know how many people are actually going to see that. But overall, it should look good. Now the next thing I need to do is get that chrome that's supposed to go across the front here and paint the Chevy emblem inside and then on the taillights paint those red and on the headlights around the rings there's a little area that goes black in there. So I'll have to get all that done. So here's the front emblem glued on, and as you can see, I did paint it in the correct Chevy colors for 1957. Even added in the little blue bow tie. I think I might have to go over top of that again once the paint dries up a bit. I added a little bit of Nuln oil into the headlights here. Actually, the turn signal lights or parking lamps, just to give them a little bit of definition. So moving that out of the way, here comes the rear bumper. And there you can see I added in the uh, testers taillight red in there. I even painted black in the bottom in a little T pattern like it's supposed to be on the 57. 
and then turning this over there's the little black areas that go up in the headlights so I'm gonna have to uh, scrape a bit of the chrome in here on the upper inner edge and then glue in those headlights now I haven't yet done the boogie board but I'll get to that next so here I have a mock-up of the Go Mad Nomad and you can see just how nice this is gonna end up at the end of this group build I will have to add in the bare metal foil along here I will probably paint that with the uh, testers chrome silver but I just wanted to show you this sort of all together just so you could see what it looks like so far that orange surfboard boogie board out the back really uh, alters the color palette but overall I mean it's pretty good this tread pattern I've actually seen it in some old hot rod magazines so maybe I'll give you a little scan of that image of that tire Um, Firestone and Goodyear, they all had that kind of tread on some of those tires back then. Now at the back, I'm going to have to put on those chrome strips right into here. There is a little paint flaw right there, and I was hoping that the bumper would cover that over, but the bumper part actually goes underneath that. So I might, I don't know, if I had a little more time, I might make a license plate for that, but I'm not too sure. Again, these tires out the back really stick out the back. These would not be good in muddy weather. Weather, pardon me. They'd all fly up into Ron's bodywork, all the mud. The only thing that looks kind of natural is the little teeny wheels up in the front. But again, I mean, what can you do? So I've got to add the glass in here and a few other details. But what I think I'll do is just use this video as a bit of an update as to what's going on. And I really want to upload it just to show everybody that I'm still in the game here because I, I don't know if I released anything new on this. The other thing is I'm getting a tooth pulled out tomorrow that is a molar that actually just rotted away. And I also have to get the tooth in front of it filled because it's chipped. So basically there will be a hole in my mouth for a while. And I don't know if the next video is going to be ASMR or what it's going to be. <laughs> Maybe I can finish that uh, 76 Impala since I'm doing that video in ASMR because I don't know if I'm really going to feel like talking for a little while but we'll all see how it goes and uh, hopefully can get this finished. I don't think I'll get it done by the 30th but you never know. I mean that I let the uh, car sit in the sun out in my old Oldsmobile. That's like my perfect uh, bake oven because it gets really warm in there but not hot enough to melt the plastic. So, uh, I don't know, maybe I could do that, get it all done. Anyway, let's continue. Well, I hope you enjoyed my video of the Gomad Nomad, checking it out as it progresses along, and hopefully we will get to the end of this project very quickly, and then I will do a video of the whole thing just as like a show and tell, so that you can see everything and the kit in its finished glory. So until next time, everybody, good luck on your cartoon group build model. And until next time, happy model building.